thank y'all for joining us. And make sure if you go do something, please do it the right way. Man, Tyler, I ain't never, I ain't, in all the years I've known you, I ain't never seen you go to church like that. I just don't say much. I just let people say what they say and I keep it moving. But that's that's the one part I wanted to get into. Like, even at, I, I wanted to bring this up. I, I, I told them before you got here. We were at Mo Kelly's office the other day. I saw you. We were in there. Bro, you just, you don't talk. You just observe just, and you. Yeah. You just act like you like a rookie still. <laughs> Like you've been in the league and you don't even act like you you think you are, you're rich. Yeah, I just I I mean the way we live in Tulsa is way different than how people live out in Cali or how people live in Texas. We just we learn how to match energy, we learn how to have fun, and we just learn how to do our job and go about it. Like we don't care about yeah, you want the credit for self-esteem purposes, but I mean in the world that we live in, you don't get the credit. Did you have that moment like I did in high school? I tried to turn into loud, rambunctious, sagging my pants. Look at me. Did you ever have that moment? No, nah, because I, I knew if that. I knew if I did that, then I could get the publicity I wanted. But if I got to do all that to get it, mm. well, can I? Can I? When you came here today, what made you say, "You know what? I'm gonna wear the Space Jam hat." <laughs> what, what made you? Think that? Uh, it just, it just. Fits in with my make hometown lit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Make hometown lit and Space Jam hat does not match, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like you are, you, like this is why we don't think you got any swag because of that. That's fine. But just like Space Jam, everybody gonna watch. <laughs> hey, coming from a guy with no swag, let me try to help you out. How about you try to put like a cool arm sleeve? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. You don't want to do nothing cool? Mm-hmm. I ain't want to do nothing. Works, I ain't do that sometimes that works in your favor. We played against UCLA. I stood up on stage my last game as a senior, and they, because coach was like, man, Tyler Lockett, Tyler Lockett. He actually compared me to Marvin Harrison. He was like, he's like a Marvin Harrison, this, this, and this. They called me up on stage to do one of the things at the bowl games, and they was like, that's him? And I went out there, scored like three tugs. One got called back from the punt return, and then I went for like 130, 140 something. And during the game, the dude was like, hey, bro, I respect you. Mm. But sometimes the swag made people be like, oh, him? Yeah. Play into my favor. <laughs> just like me not talking. Some people you don't have to talk to because they'll just be lazy out there because they, they need some type yeah. of motivation to get going. Mm-hmm. So why would I talk trash to you and I know you play at a higher level when you piss? Mm-hmm. I'll just be like, what's up, bro? Like, how everything going with you? Because I know I got you. You know what you remind me of? You, as far as a receiver, you like that uh, that woman that's not really that good looking, but got good credit. Don't bother me. <laughs> that woman going to get a good man. <laughs> so, so, so at the end of the day, like, I mean, my motto used to be, if you like me on my worst days, you're going to love me on my best days. But why do you deserve the best days? You can't handle any worse you days. Can't, if you can't even enjoy being around the worst days. Bro, that's something you said about working out by yourself. That was... I, I've never had anyone ever explain it. Never in my life. I, I've never had anyone Never in my life have I ever heard that said. That's all Where did it come from? Just me. I, I just... I've always... like I either worked out with me or I go work out with my dad. And at the end of the day, I told myself, I said, bro, if I can get myself to this level, then when I go lift, they gonna help me be better. Like when I get a coach that's like, all right, now we got more structure. But like, if I can create structure in my own life, then it's only gonna be times two once I get back with a team that has structure with how they wanna be able to do stuff. But I just make sure that like, I'm self-motivated, I'm self-driven. Like I might be like, I'm not really feeling it this year. I don't wanna even, I don't know if I wanna play. But then it's like, what happened? Over time, I start getting motivated again. Mm-hmm. And you start being like, "All right, I'm ready to do this." But like, I've learned how to play motivated. I learned how to play free. I learned how to play unhealthy, just like I learned how to play when I'm healthy. But over time, you just start to realize that in this career, this is what you want it to be. Just like life, I could be like, "Well, I got my wife by my side. She gonna help me through." There's gonna be times where she not. 
And what am I going to say? You wasn't there for mm. me? Like, I got to, <laughs> I just got to, I got to be, I got to make sure that I got me in case nobody else got me. And the only way I'm going to know that is to know that I got me. And then when I see people help me, then I know that I don't have to have me at that moment because they got me. But then if nobody says, hey, gee, what's wrong? I'm not tripping. Because I know that I didn't talk it out with myself. Yeah. I didn't work through it with myself. I was quiet. I worked through it in my head. I might have prayed about it. I might have just said, you know what? Tyler needs a break today. So Tyler's going to go home and watch TV. And I'm just going to wait. Like So everything, everything that I do, it's like I'm always working, even if I'm not working. I might have gave myself an off day, but it's not because I was lazy. I just said, uh, we need an off day because you're better whenever you're fresh. Mm. There's other times where I'm like, bro, I'm going to catch jugs. And they like, bro, catching jugs is different. Than, I'm like, yeah, but I'm just focusing on just being able to see the ball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't care if I drop it. I just want to see the ball, see the ball. So now when it comes, I'm like, okay, I'm not worried about I uh, catch it, fall. Like the more I work on catching it, the more I can be like, all right, I'm going to catch it and make some moves. But mm-hmm. I also understand durability. So when people yep. mad that I fall... I'm like, yeah, I can get more yards, but at the same time, as soon as I get hurt, then what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You saw that last year on Twitter, didn't you? I always see it. People always complain, but at the same time, when you're looking at it, you you look at receivers that you credit, and then all of a sudden, they be like, man, why he falling? But then they see receivers getting more yards, and then they fumble. And they'd be like, oh, they need to just fall like Tala. <laughs> then, you see, then you start realizing like people start getting hurt. People start limping. I mean, well, you can't play at your highest level mm. if you ain't learned how to play when you hurt. So now you limping. Now what? Next person go in. They ball out. Next man up. You might be done. Y'all really, so, do, y'all really do be seeing what stuff, what people say on Twitter? I mean, you always see it. But like for me, I know how to channel that in. And be able to play while dealing with all that stuff. It don't bother me. And if it do bother me, I learn how to play while it bothers me. But I, I allow that to be healthy energy rather than, bro, F all them. They don't. Uh, it's like, yeah, I have my days where I feel like that. But at the same time, I also realize if I go for a thousand, like I did last year, what happens? Well, he ain't gonna have a good year this year. Well, you take it the previous year. I went for a thousand. Well, he ain't gonna do that again this year. You take it the previous year. You go for a thousand. Well, this is gonna be the year he's off. So if every year they're gonna pick when I'm gonna fall off, why even worry about if I'm gonna have a great season or not? Because then if I have another great year, then they're gonna say, oh, he's gonna be 32. Mm. And it's always gonna be something. So at some point, I'm like, I just gotta enjoy this game. How I enjoy it, because all they waiting for is to say, "I told you." That's what that's. Or swear that's what they waiting for. And how, so, how old are you? Thirty. Thirty. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I swear that's what they waiting for. Thirty years old, wearing a Space Jam hat. Space Jam Two. Did you like Space Jam Two? I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't even see it, and you wearing a hat. Mm-mm. I just watched Netflix. Netflix and Hulu. Would you watch on Netflix? Whatever, whatever I feel is necessary. <laughs> Reality shows. <laughs> I, I, feel watch, is necessary. I watch that sometimes. Mm. I I watch literally everything besides doctor shows. Me either. I don't watch yeah. doctor shows either. I watch What's doctor shows. Any any type any, of anything with doctor. Greg's Anatomy. Pip, yeah, yeah, Pip, I don't watch Greg's Anatomy. I, I don't like hospitals, so I don't like to do all that. Yeah. But you do a comedy jam? Uh, uh, uh another uh, comedy roast again? No, nah, I told you no. Why you, why you tell me now? Cause I said I broke my leg the next day. I can't believe, bro. Yeah, bro, did y'all used to watch Nip Tuck? See, I know, I know. I don't like bro. The, the it's pimples. about plastic surgery. No, I don't watch none of that. None of that. That was one of my favorites. I watch more so like so like Netflix shows that I've watched: Money Heist, The Hundred, um, Living in Space. That was actually a really good show. Um, this show called Unseen. It's an African show. Like if you if you you've been to Africa, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like everybody Kenya, that has Tanzania. it, they show you what it looked like, mm-hmm. and you don't you be like, that ain't what it looked like. You watch these African shows, you like, hmm, mm-hmm. that's what Lagos look like. 
You know what really bothers me? 